What is a portfolio? A portfolio demonstrates your creative work and your skill set to date. So that could include anything from drawings, models, photography, watercolours, one-to-one -one fabrication or buildings that you may have designed. Slide Room is the Creative Arts and Industries uh, portfolio submission portal. It's the place where you will upload your work and where we'll actually be reviewing it. It's a relatively intuitive process, but there are guidelines online if you get stuck. And the portfolio itself should be 12 to 15 pages of A3 that do not exceed 10 megabytes. It's important to remember that each page must have an image or more than one image on each page. Anything over 15 pages won't actually be assessed. It's important also that you don't submit any hard copies. So if you've got physical artworks, sculptures and those sorts of things, you can take a photograph and submit that, or you can scan it if it's um, some sort of collage or something. So in terms of labeling requirements, we really encourage you to use the slide room function. We encourage you to keep those descriptions short as possible because we're assessing so many portfolios every time. But in it, it's really helpful if you tell us why it relates to architecture and why you use the techniques and media that you chose. It's important to bear in mind that some of the things you'll be actually studying when you come here include drawing, fabrication, digital technologies, sustainability, history, conservation, architectural theory and architecture. So keep that in mind when you're curating your portfolio that those are the kind of things and images that we'd like to see. For example, have you taken models of a city? Mm. Have you done your own building design in some of your earlier papers? That's the kind of images we want to see. So general tips for me are, this is an application to the School of Architecture and Planning. So we're really interested in your creative potential at the school and also your unique perspective on architecture in the built realm. So unfortunately, including things like Christmas tinsel, Lego, and other ready-made items is not going to be the best for your submission. In addition to the portfolio, we actually asked for a written statement, and the purpose of the written statement is it actually supplements your portfolio. So it's useful for you to tell us a bit about yourself, why you want to study here, and those sorts of things. But it's also an opportunity for those of you that haven't uh, necessarily got the strongest design portfolio. We're aware that you come from a variety of backgrounds, and we're not expecting you to be artistic visionaries at this point. This is a school of architecture. We teach you a lot of this stuff. So it's really a way of conveying any element that didn't get across in the portfolio. We know it can be an intimidating process, but it's really an opportunity for you to show off your creativity. And we'd love to see your work.